In this video, we're going to look at one special case that can come up as we're solving inequalities. As we do set this up, I want to first consider the inequality 5 is greater than negative 2. I think we can agree that's a true statement. And what we're going to do is with equations, we can do the same thing to both sides, and things should stay true. And so we're going to multiply the left side by negative 3 and the right side by negative 3, and we're going to see what happens. Well, negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, and negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. Which one's bigger? Wait a minute, the positive 6 is obviously bigger. The inequality, you'll notice, opens now to the right. Negative 15 is less than. The greater than changed into a less than. What has happened is whenever we multiply, or divide by a negative, you must flip the inequality. So if we have to multiply or divide by a negative number as we're solving, it's going to make the inequality flip directions. So, for example, oh, before we get there, there's always three steps with inequalities. First, we solve them, then we will graph them, and then we will give interval notation. So, for example, when we balance example 1 on the inequality symbol, we know the first thing we need to do is subtract 7 from both sides giving us negative 3x is less than or equal to 9. And then our next step is going to be to divide out that negative 3. But here's the key, because we have divided by a negative, the inequality is going to switch directions. Instead of less than or equal to, it's now greater than or equal to x is greater than or equal to negative 3. And now when we graph this, 0 here, negative 3 here, we see because of the or equal to part, we need a solid dot, and the x is bigger because it opens to the x, so we go towards bigger numbers off to the right. Interval notation, we obviously have negative 3 on the left side. Off to the right, it goes forever to infinity, so we have negative 3, comma, infinity. Infinity is always curved, and negative 3, because of the solid dot, or the or equal to part, we get a square bracket, telling us that everything between negative 3 and infinity will work to replace the variable and give us a true inequality that is less than 16. Let's try a second example where we see this multiplying or dividing by a negative forces us to flip the symbol of the inequality. 4 is less than negative 2x plus 16. We are really good at solving two-step equations by now, so we'll subtract 16 from both sides, giving us negative 12 is less than negative 2x. And finally, we'll divide both sides by the negative 2 in order to isolate the variable. But again, we're dividing by a negative 2. Because we've divided by a negative, the inequality is going to flip directions. Now we have positive 6 is greater than x. So let's graph it on the number line. 0, 6. We see we're just strictly greater than, there's no or equal to on this, so at 6, we need an open dot. Now we have to decide if the line goes left or right. Be careful, the inequality is not an arrow. You notice it opens to the 6, it points at the x, it points at the smaller number, x is smaller than the 6, so we need to go off towards smaller numbers 
to the right. So putting this in interval notation, we've got negative infinity on the right, 6 on the, I'm sorry, negative infinity on the left, 6 on the right. Infinity is always curved, and 6, because of the open dot, strictly less than, we use a curved parenthesis. So very important to be careful of as we're solving these inequalities. If you multiply or divide by a negative, the inequality must flip directions.